Hello kindergarten, let's get ready for expedition time. This week is so important and so special because you get to make your final product for our expedition of toys and play. So that means you get to show all that you've learned and create something beautiful and amazing all on your own. So let's pull out your very own um, story, your narrative packet, and let's read the learning targets. So our first one is I can use drawings and words to write a narrative. Remember, a narrative means a story. So you're writing your own story. And I can use drawings and words to write about how toys move. We spent a lot of time playing with toys, so we're going to write about how they move now, okay? So this is the cover, so it says toys, and you're gonna draw your own picture. So you could draw you playing, you could draw some of your favorite toys, and then it says bye, and I wrote my name there because this one's mine. So let's go ahead and pull out last week's work when you wrote about your favorite toy. So it says, my favorite toy is trains because fun. Hmm. So I'm looking at mine and th this was the train that I modeled mine after. So I kind of drew a train, but I didn't have any color. Um, and then let's also look at my words. What can I make better about my words? What do you notice? I notice that some of these letters are bigger than the other ones and my T isn't hitting the skyline like it should be. So I'm gonna fix my T in the next one and I'm gonna fix this N and this S because those should both be under the plain line, okay? So when I read this sentence of my narrative, it doesn't really make sense. I'm gonna read it again. My favorite toy is trains because fun. How could I change that sentence so that it makes more sense? Yeah, I could say my favorite toy is a train because it is fun. Because I'm only talking about one train and it is fun, not because fun, right? So we want to make it a whole sentence. So I'm going to use my three-star coloring too. I'm going to add color. I'm going to make sure that my colors make sense. That means that I'm using the colors that are on the toy that I'm writing about, not just any random colors. And then I'm also going to have no white space here. So I want to have my background, whether my train is outside or maybe I'm in the picture playing with it, or maybe it's inside on a table. So I know before this, you watched Austin's butterfly. And if you didn't, go ahead and do that real quick. Austin made a beautiful butterfly by having different people give him some feedback. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to give your um, page of your narrative to someone in your family. So it could be uh, an older sibling that goes to Detroit Prep, or it could even be any of your grown-ups, a mom, a dad, a grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, um, maybe a family friend, anyone who you see, and you can give it to them, and they're going to give you that feedback. And once you get that feedback, you're going to say, okay, and you're going to do it again on your first page of your um, narrative, okay? All right, so I went ahead and made my final draft. So go ahead and take a look at mine and see if you notice what I did better. I'm also gonna hold up my first one. So see if you notice the difference between these two. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hold up the toy that I used, my train. So something I noticed right away is that I filled up the entire paper and that means I left no white space. I used all of my space and used colors and I wrote in complete sentences and I used my skyline my plain line, my grass line, and my worm line for all of my letters. I also have this very important period at the end. That shows that my sentence is over and my sentence begins with the uppercase letter and that's my only uppercase letter. All of my other letters are lowercase. So go ahead and do your final draft of your first page of your narrative. I am so excited to see what you do.